Yeah, uh, I mean, in the locker room, I think we're aware of Chris's history in terms of what he's battled to get here, but on a day-to-day -day basis, it's not really a part of who he is. But um, as a hockey player, he's you can just see his numbers are climbing, his plus-minus, his point production, his, uh, his ability to run the power play. Those things are climbing with, uh, with every week. And, th and there was a moment, uh, you know, after Christmas, he was out of the lineup. And uh, from that point on, he's, he's been very, very uh, steady status quo away from the ice surface, which is important to him as well. Well, I got a little taste of what it's like last year, obviously playing in, uh, like you said, 12 games. Uh, I knew what I had to do this summer, and, and all I could think about was getting back and, and being in good shape so I can contribute to the team. Yeah, well, like, like you said, uh, every year you want to come back and be a little better and be in better shape and uh, have a more productive year. So obviously coming back this year, I wanted to do a little more points-wise. And uh, just this summer, uh, I focused on, on things that, I, that I'm good at, skating, passing the puck, getting my shots through, producing points, like you said. And uh, it's just something that's always been in my blood. My dad was the same kind of player, and he's always preached that kind of hockey to me. You know, every offensive defenseman can create differently. Chris creates not off the rush, but with his stick from the blue line. He can see the ice. I think we found a lot of chemistry with him and Doug Jesse and, and him, uh, Chris, feeding pucks to Chris. Uh, uh, Chris feeding pucks to Doug Jesse when he's open and getting pucks through on his own when he gets the opportunity. So uh, he, he's, he's really settled in nicely to create offense from the blue line, not so much off the rush. Yeah, the power play switched around quite a bit this year. Uh, we've had different guys at different spots, and uh, it's been working pretty well. We've, we've uh, kind of solidified a unit now, and, and we're starting to get pucks through, and, uh, and we're just all seeing each other, and it's starting to work, especially with uh, the big shot from DJ on the point there. Well, I mean, man, they're good. I mean, Cody White has got 21 goals, and uh, their top line, like a lot of teams' top line, is uh, very, very dangerous. And uh, Robert Morris has had our number. They've, they've played very well against us, and we need to get our game going. We've been uh, uh, pretty good, but we need to be great to beat these guys. And uh, we're, we're getting there. We're working hard at it. The guys are getting closer to that consistent level that you need to have long-term success. And, uh, you know, you're running out of time to, to hit on all cylinders, but we're, we're still working at it. It. Well, we're, we're, we've been working pretty good lately, working pretty hard, getting a lot of things going our way. We're just, it feels like we're on the brink of, of uh, accomplishing something good here, and we just need to keep working towards doing what we're doing and uh, cracking down in our own zone, putting pucks in the net, and uh, I think things are just going to eventually fall our way.